फाइव पाइथन पैकेजेस टू वाओ योर क्लाइंट वट कैन बी दीज पैकेजेस कैन दीज बी नम पाई पांडाज एंड एस्केलन ऑब्वियसली नॉट बिकॉज एवरीबडी नोज अबाउट दोज पैकेजेस वट आर दीज हिडन पैकेजेज विथ विच यू कैन वाओ योर क्लाइंट्स एंड स्टेक होल्डर्स लेट सी दैट सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद द फाइव पाइथन पैकेजेज दैट यू कैन यूज टू वाओ योर क्लाइंट ओके and i'm going to give little background of why i have included these packages here and then i'm going to show you the uh, python page for that where you can go ahead and practice okay so first of all there is a concept of something known as data lineage okay i'm not sure if you are aware of this concept but it's a pretty important concept in anything to do with the data okay what is data lineage is suppose you are bringing some data some customer data from source 1 then you are doing some transformation on this customer data then you are getting the data in let's say second staging place for example then you are doing some transformation some modification bringing data to the third place right so from original table which is 1 to the intermediate table which is 2 to the target table which is 3 and then some machine learning runs and then something happens so what happens is a long chain of data processing happens here okay processing and transformation so many a times your clients or stakeholders will be interested in knowing the entire picture like how this is happening okay and most of these things will happen through sql queries and it becomes very important for us to know what the big big sql queries are doing so one sql query might be taking data from here to here doing some transformation another from here to here doing some transformation so on and so forth okay so from data processing point of view there is a very good package in python the name of the package is sql lineage okay so if you go here and search for sql lineage okay so you will see one package here and if i if i have to show you this right so you can do a pip install and see what this package does is it's very simple so it says sql lineage will tell you its source and target table without worrying about tokens keyword identifier and all the jargons used by sql parser so suppose you have a big sql query okay you want to know what are my sources what are my targets what are my intermediate things that is happening so this package will give you multiple things so practice you have to do i will just show you the, the you know the main page of those packages so you have you can install like this pip install sql line lineage then if you give a query like this right insert into this table then it will say my source table is table 2 my target table is table 1 okay so suppose you you want to give sql file you can give like this it will tell you my source is this my target is this suppose you want to give multiple sql file it will also tell you intermediate table suppose you want to give a complex query it will it will do that but what i want you to show is column level lineage is also possible okay column level lineage is like how the columns have been transformed okay so from here if you can see from default this column is coming then it will show you the flow and then you can do the visualization the most important part to show to your clients and stakeholders okay so to your clients and stakeholders you can show that you know from default table this is coming from this table this is coming and this is where it is going this is where it is going so people like to see things visually it looks more appealing okay so the first package you can go and practice about is called sql lineage and it will also help you suppose you don't want to read through a big sql query right take that big sql query and put it uh, in the sql lineage it will tell you what this query does what are the main tables what are the main joins etc read about this more and practice on this okay this is the first package i wanted to discuss the second package i want to discuss here most of you would have heard about something known as regex in python okay so regex is used for regular expression um, checking or matching or these kind of things right i have i have in my previous python important packages i have listed this regex re packages basically okay now similar to re there is another package in python known as flash text and it's not exactly regex but for machine learning and nlp tasks right it is very very useful package let me show you some of the usability of this and then you know it will start coming to your mind how you can use this so python flash text if you go to python flash text right so what you can do is it is very fast as compared to regex okay first of all it's very fast as compared to regex so i i will first show you some of the charts here as you can see time taken between 
See, first one is rejects, which is taking this much of time. Second one is flash text. See how much difference is there between the same text matching kind of thing or text, you know, pattern finding kind of thing you are doing here. Now, what all it can do? It can, so again, play around with this package, but one example, what it can do is, it will give you extract keywords. For example, from a, from a text, if you want to extract some keywords, name entity recognition kind of huge cases, you want to do some kind of feature engineering where you want to say whether some pattern is existing in a text or not existing, okay? And this is just one example. Then uh, keyword extraction, extra information extraction, so many things you can go through here. What I wanted you to show is this flash text package is based on flash text algorithm, which is a famous algorithm in the text analytics world. Okay. And it does thing which rejects will do, but in a relatively less time and relatively less effort. Okay. So not as flexible as rejects probably, but faster than rejects. So for all your NLP tasks, please consider this one package. Okay. Next thing I want to discuss here is something known as uh, many a times when you do, uh, you know, pandas, um, you know, uh, when you when you create a data frame in pandas, right? Suppose you create a data frame in pandas like this and you go to your manager or your stakeholder or somebody and you show that you show to them. This is my column one. This is my column two. This is my column three. This is my data looks like. So immediately they will have questions to you. For example, hey, can you tell me? Uh, this is a male female column for example this is a gender column male female column okay so somebody may ask you hey can you quickly show me how the male female proportion looks like hey can we can you can you quickly show me a distribution of this can you quickly show me a percentage distribution of this so what you have to, what you will do in general is you will go ahead and write a you know matplotlib or seaborn uh, kind of some package some function you will call but I want you to focus on something known as PyG Walker. Let me show you that package once. So Python PyG Walker. Okay. So if you see this package, guys, please make a note of all these packages which I'm showing you from ML point of view and from data analysis analytics point of view. Very, very important. So see what it does. Turn your Pandas data frame into a Tableau-like user interface for visual analysis, okay? So Tableau is basically a reporting uh, platform where, you know, for visual analysis, you can do your Pandas data frame. Now, some amazing things happen here. See, can simplify your Jupyter Notebook data analysis and data visualization workflow by turning your Pandas data frame into a table-like user interface for visual explanation, okay? So here you can see the options like run in Kaggle, run in Colab. You can go ahead and do the practice, but it's very simple to install. Just you can do a pip install. You can go here, read your file, and then see something like this will open where you can do multiple kind of analysis as you can see in this, you know, drag and drop kind of thing. So it's basically a small tableau in your Jupyter notebook. You can think like that. Okay, quickly generate some charts, quickly generate some dashboards, quickly generate some reports, and you can show it to your managers, stakeholders, and clients. Okay, so they will like it for sure. So every time we work with Pandas data frame, we no need to write complicated matplotlib or C1 functions. Many things can be done using PyG Walker. Remember this function and use it. Okay, one more function, I, uh, one more package I want to talk about here. So three things we have spoken. Let me speak about one more thing here. And that is known as, suppose you are working on some data set, okay? Um, suppose you are working on some data set and you have prepared a summary report from this. For example, let's say uh, this is the main data set, okay? And this is, let's say summary, okay? What you want to do is you want to store this summary in Excel sheet directly from Pandas. Now I'm sure many of you are aware of DF CSV function, uh, Panda CSV function, Panda Excel function, but it does not allow you to do many things in the Excel. Suppose this is an Excel file. Suppose this is an Excel file. Okay. So you can't do many things in this Excel file using Panda CSV function or Excel function. You can write it. You can create the header. Those things you can do, but you can't create a, for example, new workbook. You can't uh, write some rules here, Excel rules here. These things you can't do. So there is one package I want you to be aware of, and that is known as XLS Writer. So let's search that package here. Python XLS Writer. I have shortlisted these guys with effort. So please go ahead and practice these, okay? So see what XLS Writer is a Python module for creating XLSLS files. So what it will also allow you is, it will allow you to 
do all these things 100% compatible full formatting merged cell charts auto filler conditional formatting you know images you can embed comments you can embed text boxes you can put in many things you can do here you can create you know uh, your rules so one advanced version of pandas excellence csv version uh, function okay so go ahead and do some research on xls writer again very useful if you want to prepare some reports quickly suppose you are working on some machine learning use case right your your boss comes and tells you hey can you give me the intermediate one data frame that is ready for the analysis can you give me the intermediate data frame that is ready for model building you can quickly write it to pandas if you want to do some modifications some rules some cells you can do it and pass it okay so another important package guys remember this and one more package i want you to know is this is very very important from machine learning point of view my fifth package so no matter you are working on a linear regression use case you are working on a decision tree use case you are working on a random forest use case or whatever you are working on right everybody is interested in knowing how the individual features are predicting the target okay so just to explain you with a simple example right suppose this is my target variable right and this is my feature one this is my feature two and this is my feature three everybody from business side or everybody from management side it is, is always interested in knowing how feature one is impacting target when you are saying 0.97 probability how are you saying that when you are saying feature two is impacting my target how are you saying that 0.75 probability so they are interested in knowing how their features are impacting the target okay and for this purpose one very very crucial package that i want you to be aware of is i think some of you would have guessed shap okay now if you go to shap right so the good thing is it will work with many models so see here this is your data like i was explaining you in the notebook now this this is your data and this is your output it tells age is this much sex is this much bp and bmi is this much okay now shapely additive explanation so what it will do it will work with multiple models guys so first of all let me open any of the model so if you can see here it tells you which feature is contributing how much all the codes are given here you can take it and you can work on these okay and if you go to the documentation right shape documentation then it will tell you that what are what all uh, you know data it will work on for example linear models for example neural networks for example sentiment analysis so these type of things when you show to your clients right then they will be very impressed with the amount of work that you are doing so for example basic sap interaction with hg boost right so here i am simply saying that okay i am explaining the model using shap sap so see your shape value for feature 0 and so on and so forth okay so in text text analysis also for example machine translation explanation you can do uh, analysis using the shap and you can say that okay this is how my model is my features are contributing to the target and things like that okay so i have covered five five packages guys but there is one more bonus package that i want to give you and that is slightly interesting package also you can just go here and simply say python emoji okay and if you go to python emoji right then it will allow you to write emojis in your code for example emoji dot emojis python is thumbs up so it will print you something like this print you something like this python is fun red heart print something like this okay so this is another bonus package i want you i wanted you to know okay so remember five packages we discussed sql lineage to see data lineage flash text to do many things with text analytics pyg walker for having a tableau like interface in by pandas data frame xls writer to work with xls and shap for seeing your variables contribution and how your variables is defining your target okay emoji for some fun activities please give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care